our jury member, Mehreen Ahmed, to felicitate our winner, Jack Forrester, and talk about the conflict. Thank you, Shahjul, for inviting me to this momentous occasion for the magazine. It is a brilliant idea to commemorate your father, Mr. K. M. Arthur's achievements and contributions to this magazine and literature in general. So I have uh, written a short uh, speech for Jack's uh, uh, victory, for Jack's Nobel, uh, so, sorry, Nobel, <laughs> so for, for you know, Jack's award. So I'll start with, uh, you know, with a quote by Nelson Mandela. He said, a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Nelson Mandela had said in one of his speeches, in the same vein, I would like to address the award winner, Jack Foley, for the KM Arthur Literature Prize 2021 at the Global Literature Conference. Thank you for attending the inauguration ceremony. As you have all welcome to me today, I too welcome you with all of my heart. Since its inception in 2020, Mr. K. Evanthru had a dream as well, an award winning, uh, an award winner of the notable Narma Kairalu Saite Award in 2014 and Govind Trachana Award of the Navarasam Sangeet Sabha in 2015. He also had a dream that he would establish a magazine which would redefine the world, a real magazine that was going to go global with a strong inclination for all things literary in all of its forms and glory, such as arts, music, poetry, culture, and fiction. To this end, this magazine was launched, offering a platform for both experimental, literary, and entertaining expressions. The magazine is now a resounding success and well into its second year, with award-winning writers contributing. It was not easy to win this award, as there were many fine competitors. And as the recipient of this award, Jack Foley, I would like to congratulate you on your victory and thank you for your outstanding literary contribution. It was a real honor to be invited to this conflict of such gifted people. Thank you. Many thanks. Now, now I welcome Dr. Purvis. Hello, good morning from India. Greeting to everyone. I am Dr. Parvesh Sharyar from India. I am a bilingual poet and short story writer. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Shajil Anthro for giving me such a golden opportunity to share my experience in such a marvelous occasion of celebration of anniversary at the Global Literature Conclave 2021. From this platform of uh, literate your redefined world. This is the occasion when inauguration session of anniversary celebration and announcement of K. M. Andrew Literature Prize is to be held very soon. I would like to extend my gratitude to Honorable Late K. M. Andrew. Uh, Father of Shajil Anthru. He was a prominent. He was a he was a professor of English, and a prominent author of Malayalam and English. He had many awards and accolades along with his published books in his credential, both in English and Malayalam. As far as uh, my friend uh, Dr. Shajil Andrew is concerned, he is a principal in Polytechnic College in Kerala, and I have been interacted with him uh, through social media and mobile phone, and found he is a thorough gentleman, very polite, very, uh, highly distinct, and a good man, learned, very disciplined, and uh, civilized person. Dear friends, the pandemic COVID-19 has given us lots of opportunity to come together and exchange our views on webinars mm. and live discussion and 
poetry recitation from one hour to two or three days literature festival also. My dear friends and our honorable poets and authors, we are going to celebrate a grand three day global literature conclave 2021 under the edges of literature defined world in the golden memory of K, M and through after completion of one year in August 2021. It is clear by the earlier announcement that we are going to <clears throat> confer KM Anthro Prize 2021 at this auspicious occasion. I'd like to congratulate them all, friends who will receive such a prestigious prize and accolades in the Global Conclave of Literature 2021. Taking this opportunity, I would like to share my experience with the honorable audience and viewers. I have been <coughs> got publishing my poems in the literature RW since it's the second issue. The first issue of the literature RW was so impressive to me that I could not stop myself from the submission of my poems to Mr. Shadil Andrew, the editor in chief of the e magazine. It is the four color magazine which opens by flipping its pages with the attraction, attractive sounds that you will feel you are turning the pages one by one by your own fingertips. Since I am an editor in NCRT, looking after the school textbooks from standard 1 to 12, I know how much the children are fascinated to see the colorful pages and the beautiful cover designs of, the, of their journal reading school books. Mr. Shajil Anthru has provided us a platform to share our pieces of literature with the writers and poets of the world. He is uh, doing lots of things to uplift the society and he is working hard for community development as well. Now we can say that language is no more very to us due to latest information technology. We used to greet each other in their mother tongue and in the language of contact, which is none other than English. We Indian people generally know three languages. Now I want to drop this paragraph. I'm going ahead. Now it is the, uh, in the light of the role of English language, we can say that technology has uh, given us a sense of global village wherein uh, within a second, we can learn about what is happening on the other end of the world. Recently, wildfire broke in the forest of Greece, and we all were praying for the safety of the living beings of the forest of the Greece. One more glaring example is pandemic COVID-19, which make us aware of the waves and delta variants of the coronavirus to keep us in the isolation to pro protect us. Friends, we are contributing our joys and sorrows by our composition and creation of the pieces of art and literature through these kind of online session of the webinar and e books and the e-magazine like literature uh, RW. The poets are assets to their countries, but their thoughts are not limited to any particular geographic, geographic boundary, geographical boundary. The function of uh, literature is to unite the human beings by removing their differences. They indirectly inculcate 
basic human values for the constructive growth of the society. The literary activities, including bringing out of magazines and the newspaper, have been useful in the development of language from the linguistic point of view also. It is to, this is the, the poet who creates a new meaning by creative use of the words taken from the dictionary. We can say during the worst period of COVID-19, when people were dying throughout the world, poets and artists have done their great contributions to boost up zeal and zest of living among human population. I think poets are not only the cultural ambassador, this is the last paragraph, I think uh, poets are not uh, only the cultural ambassador of uh, one's own country, but they love the human being like our guiding and guardian angels whenever a natural calamity occur or a war breaks out. These are the poets who raise their voices against the violence and the cruelty practiced and exercised against the human being. In this uh, present scenario, our responsibility has increased when all sources of entertainment are kept closed due to coronavirus and uh, social distancing is observing everywhere in the world. At last, but not least, in the conclusion, I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to all the poets and authors and the writers who are present from every part of the world in this webinar. My best wishes to all the participants and more particularly to those eminent poets and writers in advance who are going to receive the KM and through Literature Prize 2021. Thank you once again. Welcome, Arinda Chima, to address the session. Good morning to a very distinguished gathering. Good morning, Jackie, sir. Good morning, Shajil, sir. And first of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to literature redefining world for this opportunity of for this opportunity and invite to anniversary celebrations and the inaugural session of global literature conclave 2021 well i'm so humbled so honored and it's a privilege to be here and today is absolutely your day, Jack, sir. Happy birthday to you. And also heartiest congratulations to you. It's so wonderful. So coming to the very exciting part of today's inaugural session is the felicitation of the prize winner. And I am feeling so honored to speak about Jack Foley, sir. The very fact that the esteemed jury has selected you speaks volumes about your work, your contributions in the literary field, and your achievements. So uh, once again, heartiest congratulations to you, sir. Wishing you more laurels, more honors, and glory in the future, too. <laughs> And we share this moment of pride with you. It's so wonderful. I cannot leave this virtual stage without saying a few words about the editor and the founder of this such a wonderful forum, the Twitter Redefining World. So I would just like to speak a few words about the founder and the editor, 
Honorable came on through. Honorable came on through was born in 1937 on April 2nd. And from a very young age, he started writing. And he published his first work in 1956. From 1956 to 1970, he was very active in the literary field. From 1970 to 2000, he committed himself to an active role as a compassionate organization leader, where also he became a change maker. The year 2000 witnessed the comeback of Anthru. It's also called Return of Anthru because this is the period when he wrote his most prominent works like The Judge and the Camel, The Banana Bunch and Other Stories. And he received many prestigious honors and awards. So then he became the founder and editor of Literature Redefining World, which acclaimed a notable position in the world literature and in a very short span of time. So we mm -hmm. are here celebrating literature under the shade of the great banyan called Honorable K.M. Anthru. So this is a wonderful and enriching experience which I, a humble poet, poet an international poet and writer from India is having interacting with you all on this virtual stage. Thank you so much, Shajan sir. Thank you so much, Jack sir. Thank you, Maureen. It was wonderful listening to you. Thank you, Minnie. So it's a wonderful experience. And with those words, I'd like to sign off. Thank you so much, everyone. It was wonderful being here. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. First of all, I extend my good morning wishes to all of you, especially to their polisher. So first of all, let me congratulate you on this very, very precious uh, achievement. You are the first recipient of this big honor in the name of a great person, memory of a great person, a great literary gem of India. I belong to northern part of India and I, I am feeling really very pleased to know that you have been awarded this very, you see, prestigious prize. I was wondering, sir, whether at an early age, when you took this decision to join the field of literature, was it a right decision or a policy? But I think you must be at, at this date, you are you, you are receiving a double note of a happy birthday wishes as well as despite and you are feeling really jolly on your face. So two things are very apparent. First, Judy has done a commendable job in selecting you as a recipient of this honor. Mr. KM and Sue. Who was a genius, literary gem? His spirit must survive, must perpetuate in you as I wish. You will carry on the work of Mr. K. M. Enfield as he wishes, had he been alive today. So, this is a double honor, and I also wish to congratulate this literature, TV, and other magazines, the whole family. They are doing a wonderful job. Mr. Madam Mini, Sajil Sir, and all other persons who are associated with this award or with this literary uh, activity, they have done, you see, very, very commendable job in the name of late Sri KML2 to perpetuate his memory by instituting this award, by running a back game for encouraging the young or the upcoming writers and uh, by selecting you, they have especially inspired the other writers also. The award ceremony uh, has two, uh, two facets. 
person who is awarded, if he is awarded, he gets much pleasure. And the person who who don't get awards, they they are rewarded rather in other way. They they are inspired. They feel inspired by the person who who is awarded. So in both ways, it is beneficial to not only awarding but the other persons who are at the receiving it. So I congratulate the whole team, the whole family, and producer, Polisa, for you, you, you have really inspired the uh, new generation of writers. And I think your powerful will will inspire us in the future also. We look forward to you with much hope and inspiration. You will do wonderful things in the future also. And this family of the detective team and the mag team will also who are doing a good human job. They will continue this good uh, job for in the future to come. And finally, I thank you, Mr. Jackson, for inviting me for this talk. Thank you so much. Now I welcome Suji Smita Koshal to speak a few words. Uh, good morning to all the honorable artists, poets, and authors. I I am Sujishmita Goshal, a budding poet, writer, and author from West Bengal, India, and currently pursuing my MBA from G.D. Goenka University. Uh, I have been always keen to literature since childhood, as I have read uh, I have read a lot of books, and it is my extreme pleasure that. A literature redefining world has made me a part of their team and also has invited me in the coveted Global Literature Conclave 2021 uh, to uh, to uh, make us uh, uh, to make us introduce with the prize came and through international prize. It is also my extreme. A uh, pleasure to be a witness of this stunning conclave, as well as knowing the uh, came and through International Prize 2021 is uh, going to be awarded to Jack Polliser, who is from USA, and he is a very brilliant author. Although I have not yet been a lucky fellow to follow his work, but I have heard uh, of him a lot through li literature redefining world, and. I would like to congratulate sir for winning this prestigious prize as making and also making us proud. No, uh, nothing could be a better thing. Uh, nothing could be a better thing uh, to take such a spectacular initiative to nurture artists, poets, authors uh, worldwide. I pray that the entire session consisting almost a week of celebration goes in an outstanding way. Thank you so much, Sharhil, sir. And thank you so much, Jack Polly, sir. Thank you so much, entire team, for inviting me. And namaste. 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 Thank you. Namaste. And Yolanda Le an Italian poetess and storyteller. It's an honor and a privilege to be take part in this exceptional event. I wish a resounding success to Global Literature Complaint received by Jack Foley, an eminent personality of the international literary world. I express my gratitude to the organizers of the exceptional event, Shajiram and Literature Review. I always felt the need to transfer on a piece of paper my feelings and emotions when I feel the inspiration. Recently, my poetry book, The Explorer of Feelings and Human Values, has been published in Italy and by a lefty editor and literary critic. It was presented at the Federiciano International Poetry Festival. Testimonial of the public event was uh, Alessandro Cosimodo, son of the poet Salvatore Cosimodo, Nobel Prize for Literature. 
My poems may be found in national and international literary anthologies. I was a winner of the Crop Culture 1988 at the age of 17 years old for the singularity and similarity of my poems. Official godmother of the year is given to was Nicoletta Ursumando, announcer of Rai TV. I attend the master classes with Francesco Verde, Opa, Giuseppe Anastasi, singer and songwriter, e Quasimodo, actor, Opa, theatrical director, Davide Rondoni, playwright. I take part in the laboratory on poetic writing with Mogol, lyricist, writer, and the record producer. I have the, the fortune to be here this evening. I want to thank everyone who invited me. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure and a privilege to know Jack Foley. I'm fond of him, and uh, it's uh, great to be here. Thanks to the organizer and uh, Global Literature Conclave. I wish the best of everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Alicia, and I would just like to express my gratitude to everyone and to the editor of the paper, the Redefining World Magazine, for inviting me to be amidst the first talent of people. Thank you so much, sir. And a congratulations to Mr. Jasper, sir, for achieving the prize. I would love to read more of your works and forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Diksha. Okay. I think I would add a few words about the award and Jack Foley, sir, before handing over the session to him. I remember the first message in form of email, which I got from Jack Foley, sir, was in response to my uh, message. That was on 13th August 2020. He sent me a bunch of poems, short story for considering in the literature magazine. And the first poem, it was titled Love. I think you remember it. The poem is like this. Love is a two-sided mirror. My love is reflected in one side. Your love is reflected in the other. But it is in one mirror and it turns. What a beautiful point. Then I was confused because he had sent so many points. I was confused which poem we do uh, I publish. And there was a short story that man on whom the sun has gone down. Since I was unable to choose one poem for publication, I thought I will go with the short story. And uh, we have, I have the magazine here. Jack Foley story printed here in three pages. Man on whom the sun has gone down. I would like to call your att attention to two paragraphs of this story. It starts the story like this. There is more terror in the day than in the night. Only today I saw a man berate his child and strike him. I might have been the child. I saw an automobile swerving around the corner, going too fast. I must have been a pedestrian struck down by the automobile. Indeed. I might have been one of the leaves 
that fell down from the tree this morning. I read on the internet that someone in my neighborhood had been mugged. I walk alone, great distances with no perfection. I too might be mugged. I might, it might happen that a thief would accost me and hurt me while robing me. It has happened to others. See, whatever narrated in one paragraph here is still happening and can happen around us. In between the lines, you can see the author Jack Foley, how he perceived the agony and anguish of others. He is not the man who cheers at others' decline. He has a heart which becomes sober when he sees other man's misery. It extends to nature also. You can see, he has written that I might have been one of the leaves that fell from the tree this morning. He's looking around the nature. This reflects a true, true betrayal. In the second paragraph, he starts the paragraph like this. During the night, I can close my eyes and enter a dark wood. During the night, I can dream or enter a void in which I no longer need to cling to my identity. My age no longer matters. My name no longer matters. Sometimes dead people visit me, but that they carry no fear with them. I feel it is only concern for the living. You can see an interesting observation here. A man with closed eyes and man with open eyes. They see things differently. And that too in opposite poles. So, what should I say? This is only an introduction of the story. The story has not started. So, I thought I will pub start publishing things by this story. Since I was confused with this point, even looking in this line, it is fighting. The lines in this story is fighting. And I would challenge all to edit one word from this truth, if you can, without changing the meaning. That is the, that is Jack Paul. So I am happy that you have been, you are the first A Mandura Prize winner. So I am very happy. The congratulations from all of us here.